Reports have emerged that suggest the upcoming X-Men Days of Future Past may end up being Fox Studios' second most expensive film in their history, behind only James Cameron's Avatar, which cost a reported half a billion dollars to make and market. Presumably, this would make X-Men Days of Future Past the most expensive superhero film of all time. John, what do you think of Fox putting this much money behind the new X-Men film? Um, scary, but necessary. Uh, look, Fox recently let uh, the rights to Daredevil go. They are all in on their X-Men and Fa Fantastic Four reboots, uh, or, or you know their, that universe that they're trying to create this shared universe. They are all in. They need X-Men: Days of Future Past not just to be successful. They need it to be damn successful. I mean, a lot successful. Now, let's put this into a little bit of context, okay? Wolf, the Wolverine was really successful for them, made $400 million worldwide, okay? Great. But that other studio doing Marvel films, Marvel, that's only one-third of what Iron Man 3 made, less than a third of what Avengers made, like $300 or $400 million less than some of the other Marvel properties. I mean, so it's good, but if they really want to boot kick a whole new shared universe with X-Men, Fantastic Four, they are putting all their eggs in this basket. And they're starting it right. Take all of our beloved cast from the old X-Men films. Take the cast from, you know, X-Men Days of Future Past. Put them all together. Keep the focus on the most popular characters. Blah, 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 blah. They're putting a lot of money behind this. The marketing campaign is probably going to be at least $100 million to market this damn thing. Um, so, yeah, it, it is absolutely crucial and essential that this, for Fox, is a major hit. They know it, and they're going to put a lot of financing behind it. So, it makes sense. Dennis, how do you see it? It means that they have a lot of faith and trust in both Brian Singer it's true. and the X-Men franchise. And yeah, I think they, they, they want this kind of mini Marvel universe, like a right. side-like cinematic universe to Marvel Studios. And yeah, it is interesting that, that something like Wolverine, which, you know, people who, who know about the comic books know that Wolverine was a much popular, more popular character than Iron Man ever was oh, before yeah. the movies. Before the movie started, yep. And it, it's funny how now, this, the, because of the movie franchise, Iron Man's so big now, and Wolverine can't even get, what would you say, one-third yeah. of, of, of what Iron Man made. So <laughs> I think they see that and go, look, this has the potential to be even bigger than that, so let's go for it. Schnapp. Well, it only made one third of the money because, like, you know, the Mandarin versus Viper. You know, <laughs> they're like. And Iron Man three was directly coming off of Avengers, yeah. the biggest comic book film in history. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and and Wolverine was coming off of Wolverine Origins, so right. you know you have that going for it. So, I think them spending more money going back for the reshoots is great. I keep waiting for them to announce that they're going to split this movie into two movies. I have I, been too. I've been waiting I just for, want for that months. To, I want that to happen so badly, only because it seems like it's so crammed. It's like got 30 characters in it, plus like two Magnetos, two Xaviers. I mean, I just, I really want to enjoy it, I, but I just don't want to have characters be like, hey, what's up? My name's Quicksilver. And he's, it's over. And it feels like that's what's going to happen with this movie. So hopefully they are going to make a big announcement and say, hey, we're, we're breaking this up it's into two movies. getting kind of close though. I mean, it's in May. I mean, we're real close. That could, we're like within six months. That could be what some of these reshoots are. I don't know. Uh, mm. Hopefully, you know, I mean, Brian Singer's been given giant budgets before Superman Returns and, you know, didn't really deliver the goods. So I'm hoping with him coming back to what launched his career, aside from Usual Suspects, which was one of my faves, you know, he's going to deliver. So I'm hoping he delivers two movies. All right, me too. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.